Isa, Isa said once, great leaders do not set out to be a leader. They set out to make a difference. It's not about the role. It's about, always about the goal. Good evening, Toastmasters, and my dear guests. Good evening. Let me talk about five leaders who had a path-breaking impact on my shaping my leadership qualities. To start with, first, my father, Anil, octogenarian, who started his life from a small hamlet in West Bengal. That village only got electricity in year 2007. <coughs> he started with the sheer intellect and hard work and made from a place where he just got one square meal a day, conducting tuitions to meet his engineering college fees and then going on to realizing his dream of becoming a senior board member of Indian Railways. He had a vision to start and give back to his village and he wanted to do something for his village which he did by giving and making and constructing a preschool for the children especially for the girl child he had a vision and he knew how to achieve it in short he was a transformational leader who not only motivated himself but also motivated others to go beyond what they thought about or what they even intended to do in their life. Now I can really appreciate the meaning of the word giving back to your roots or to your next generation. Second, my mother, Abha, a high school teacher by profession, was a strict disciplinarian, a bureaucratic leader. To her, it always mean, meant Discipline, hard work, and justice. Sometimes, as you imagine, maybe she was a prison officer or a court magistrate's trait in her previous life. I might have forgotten how many times I was beaten black and blue for caught being caught telling lies. As a mother, she also had an uncanny knack to decipher my clandestine lovebird conversations during my school days. <laughs> Next, my childhood friend Rahul Ganguly was a directive and an authoritative leader who had a change focus in his mind. Now, I can clearly associate the word Ganguly with authoritative style. The other one being the ex-Indian captain and our current BCCI chief, who? Saurabh Ganguly. As a child, Rahul used to take decisions on his own without even consulting us. Treat us like soldiers in a platoon. And used to make us crawl through trenches while he will be carrying the flag. In short, his authoritative style was speak more, listen less or professional world here. I believe there are only two kinds of bosses. One, on whom you have a crush on. Another, you feel like crushing like a cigarette butt. I had the luxury of the first one and the wrath of the second one. Let me mention one of them. Kavita was one of my earliest or one of the early bosses in Infosys. She was a high morale, a democratic leader who believed in teamwork, shielding me from all types of conflicts and delegating me wisely her work while she ran away by the 515 bus. <laughs> in short, she was trying to build my character. Now it would be injustice if I forgot to mention another boss in my life. My home boss, my wife. Dr. Amrita. She is a stupendous pace setting leader who demands performance, pace, 
and productivity for me. She manifests herself with loud music, fast cars, perilous adventures, and foreign locales. To her version of being a Caribbean hurricane, I am an Indian sugar cane with soft balance, cycling, running, and reading books. Of course, her pace and style has rubbed me off well. When nowadays, I challenge my team hunting for that pertinent question. Who? Where? When? Why? What? And how? Finally, you all people will be wondering one question. Who among these five people have been most influential in your shaping your leadership style? And what is your style? And the paths, uh, pathways assessment, self-assessment gives the answer to me. Can you guess what? Which one would be my style? <laughs> Dynamic leadership, of course, is the pathway style. That's a good a joke. Anyway, so in terms of leadership style, it has been a very revealing fact and a very confusing one too. I am, of course, a combination of my office boss and my home boss. That's about my style, which is a delightful combination of a democratic leader and a pace setting leader. A democratic leader is a one who drives consensus, drives collaboration, cares more about the journey rather than the destination. In contrast, a pace-setting leader is someone who gives a damn about the team or the role or even the journey, is more bothered about the destination. My speech today has given me vague understanding from a Mambo Jumbo style to more of authoritative and different kinds of styles which I need to, need to know. Next, but last not the last, which I want to challenge you all to say is different kind of leadership is what you need to challenge yourself and see for that. Serve first, lead next. Are you game? Over to you, my